Hey there! Today I'm doing a short tutorial on how to set up your model for light motion. I apologize for the long wait. My vacation to my hometown had ended and we were packing and buying souvenirs and gifts to take back so I didn't have much time to finish up. It was a long journey back. Plus, I lost the original footage that was supposed to be used for this tutorial which delayed everything further. But I'm back now, so let's start. Open up a light motion and go to elements. Pick any aspect ratio you want, preferably four or five, but you can change it anytime anyway. Tap the add button and tap this to see all your media. When you've reached your parts, hold the first one and then tap all the other ones you want to add and then tap this to add them all one on top of the other. The first thing we're going to do is set the pivot point for every part. So hide all the parts by tapping this eye icon on the layers. Place the point where you want your rotation to stem from or just do what I do if you're not quite sure what you're doing. Next, we're going to rename all the parts. It's very important for the next section, which is parenting, to identify all the layers because the identifying images on the parenting menu are really small. Once you've named them all, begin the parenting process. You can watch my short about parenting, which I've linked in the description. All the head parts should be parented to the head, such as the hair, the eyes, and all that. The branch limbs, such as the thighs and arms, should be connected to the torso. The thighs are optional, but parenting is more convenient. Then the limbs attached to them, arms and legs, should be parented to the branch limbs. Connect extra outfit parts to the torso. When we get to the face parts, I usually put the eyes in groups and parent those groups to the head. The reason will be for another video. You can also name the element itself to find it easier when importing your model. An extra optional part will be to add the parenting helper effect to the legs and hair. I don't suggest you add it to the clothes though. Tap the layer you want the effect to be on. Tap effects, go on other, then parenting helper. Tap locked under the rotation category and rotate the head to see how it affects the hair. For the bangs, I do weighted instead and adjust the rotation weight so it doesn't show too much of what's behind them when the head rotates. When you want to make a video, go to AM's main menu, select projects and add an object slash element and then element slash project and look for your model. Then tap convert to group so you don't end up editing the original. And boom, you've got a model. I hope I managed to explain it well. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.